O oh, still small voice of calm, how we long to hear that voice, don't we, in the midst of the difficult things that happen to us during our lives. But I suggested that we would be thinking about names today. And the reason for that is that on Monday the Church remembers St. Peter and St. Paul, two great saints, both of whom started their lives with other names. Paul was called Saul before his conversion on the road to Damascus. Peter, when Jesus first called him to become a disciple, was called Simon, Simon the fisherman. And he was given by Jesus the name Peter at a particular moment and because of what happened. But let's hear the story in the Bible where Jesus gives Peter that name. It's from the Gospel of Matthew, beginning at the 13th verse. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked. Who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man. And I tell you that you up Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So that's when Peter gets his name. Peter means stone or rock, big solid stone. I suppose in another way we might say, you're a brick. Well, Peter was seen by Jesus as being a brick, a brick who would be reliable and capable and courageous. Of course, Peter went on to deny Jesus not so long after this episode, but then he recovered himself after the resurrection and then lived a life of great witness and strength. So Jesus' name for him was absolutely right. And perhaps his choice of name also helped Peter to be who he became. So, different things about names. We don't always like our names, do we? I don't know about you, whether you've always been happy with the name that you were given by your parents. I've been happy with mine. I was glad to escape being called Benedict, which I learned later was what my mother had at one stage had in mind. Vera Lynn, who died this week, so we'll have a song from her in a moment and indeed one or two more. Uh, Vera Lynn was born Vera Welsh and she felt that that wasn't going to do well on billboards. So she changed her name to Vera Lynn. Names, we need to know names, don't we, 
to remember people. It's important to do that. So here is Vera Lynn singing, Give me something to remember you by. And perhaps she means at least a name. 